What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of Modern Man. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your sneakers and how to get them to the restock look, the restock value, the restock shine. Yet again, guys, if you guys are new to this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the section down below. Also comment on this video. Let me know what you guys want to see and let me know how you guys clean your own shoes. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Arcoe, a new direction of Modern Man. And today I have a black pair of shoes that are scuffed up. And I want you guys to see how I actually get them through the process of cleaning the dirt and grime off the shoes to basically have them in restock value. And this is something you guys can do at home and just something you guys can do on a budget most importantly and i just want to give you guys my uh, perspective and my advice from doing this so i've done this multiple times and um yeah here's the steps this is going to be really cool because i have some outdoor shots for you guys you know i wanted to a little mix it up a little little cha -cha -cha. you know just a little bit uh you know just a little bit a little something different you feel me but i just want to give you guys a little something different so guys, you guys can be needing a few things to clean your shoes and you guys can actually be picking these things up at your local dollar store or your mom's house or wherever your boyfriend or your girlfriend's house. And you can find this to be very, really, very simple to do. So I got a pair of shoes that are really scuffed up. I took them on hikes. I took them on bike rides. I took them on like just normal day to day walks. So you got your shoes. You have a brush that you can actually pick up for a dollar. I got this at the dollar store. You can get it at like a home hardware gas station and or even a Walmart, for example. And this is something that you're going to be needing just to brush the shoes, get the dirt and grime out of the shoes. So the next thing you guys will need is paper towel. Yet again, you can get all these items at a dollar store. Um, yeah, you can probably just find this under your kitchen or wherever your friend's house apartment. So just grab a roll of that so you can wipe the shoes down and then you need to be needing dish soap. So yeah get some dish soap, and then you're gonna be needing a bucket. So this is gonna be containing the water. So you can just scrub the shoes and kind of filter out the water and just basically get your your shoes nice and like bubbly, for example, just to get the suds out. So I wanna give you guys a run around of what I did here. So I'm basically filling the bucket with some water. I'm using my neighbor's hose. You can fill up with some hot water or cold water. I'm just using some cold water and that is fine as well. You can also use hot water if you wanna get the dirt and grime a little more out of there if it's like a pair of serious shoes that you really need to clean. So I filled up the water. I didn't fill up too much. It was probably about, probably about maybe three inches in the bucket and then i applied my dish soap in the bucket and i kind of mixed it around with my brush so that the suds and the bubbles can just kind of mix the, with the water so i can put that nice concoction onto the shoes and scrub it so this is the fun part we're going to be scrubbing the shoes as best as you can um you don't have to go super hard but make sure you go circular rotations and that's what i did all around the shoe here so you can actually see how it foams up really quickly that is the dirt and the grime i'm um, kind of having that natural chemical reaction excuse me so you can see the suds actually kind of like raising um on the shoe so i, pay, I technically would do this um for about a minute or so depending on the shoe and but depending on the quality too right so i took my time with this um so i scrubbed all around it's obviously puffing up from the reaction of the soap and the dirt and the grime so that's a good sign so this is what i did so after i completed both of the shoes you can just see how the difference is right off the bat it's a lot more darker and a lot more blacker um, on the shoe because I got the dirt and the grime out. So get a nice paper towel, give them a good wipe. I give them a good wipe about three to four times. Make sure the suds are all out and just let it dry pretty much. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is take care of the sandals actually because I wanted to take care of these sandals so you guys can see the before and after of how these sandals have transformed from this like this filth to to the point of actually looking brand new. Now I'm cleaning the Birkenstocks. These are sandals I do recommend. 
tags up in the video of this corner here. So when it comes down to cleaning the shoes, one thing you gotta keep in mind is that when you do clean them, you gotta open up the buckles because a lot of dirt and grime does get trapped in between those buckles. And if you just kind of do a quick spray of the shoes, when they dry, you'll notice a difference of where you miss. So that's why I open up these buckles and that's where I want to give it a good scrub for both pair of shoes. So keep that in mind when it comes to washing your Birkenstocks. So one thing I want to mention with Birkenstocks that this isn't rubber, so you don't have to worry because like the rubber on a tire, that would be extremely hot to wear and tough on your skin. But this is EVA material. So this EVA material is something I actually just kind of researched myself when I was doing a review of it. So EVA stands for ethylene vinyl acetate. So this is a high quality, very light elastic material, which is very good for cushioning. So your feet will feel very, very comfortable wearing these shoes. And I do recommend these shoes yet again. So after I scrub down the Birkenstocks, this is the fun part where I kind of hose the shoes down. So for Birkenstocks, I just give it a quick blast of water. So that was pretty easy to do. But when it comes down to my running shoes, I kind of clean the bottoms there. I made sure not to get the top face of the shoes. Make sure those are not, are not damp as much as possible, right? So I kind of did a light spray around the shoes to get the dirt and grime. Places maybe I missed that weren't on the fabric. And that's pretty much it. So yet again, just give it a nice clean, give it a nice wipe down, let it air dry, and these are the after results. So you got the befores and the after, so I can show you guys the comparisons of my sneakers and my sandals comparing before I clean them and after I clean them. So you can both you can so you can actually see how restored and refreshed these shoes are and yeah, so this is something that I would typically do probably every two weeks if I really wanted to um, make my shoes look restored or if I was going to go out to a special event or go somewhere in public where there's going to be a lot of people, obviously during COVID right now, obviously during COVID, it's not going to be happening uh, as much. So yeah, keep in mind that if you want to do this to your shoes, do it every two weeks. Yet again, I hope you guys found this video very useful. Yet again, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys let me know. Put in the comment section down below yet again. Subscribe down to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up so more people can see it. And I just want to say to you guys, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and watching the growth of the channel. And it wouldn't be anything without you guys, first and foremost. And I'm excited just to do a lot more things for you guys where I can give you guys like giveaways down the road or give you guys personal shout outs and um, come to me with anything you guys want to see on the channel because I'll be more than likely to do it for you guys. So yet again, I just want to give you guys a little bit of rant there. But thank you guys for checking out the channel yet again. Can't keep saying that enough, but I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.